Behind me is a really impressive crucifix. Really impressive. And of course it got me thinking, as many of you know, as I've been on about for the past while, this crucifix, this really well done crucifix, is on a church in the middle of a normal city that people drive by all the time. And like in every city in the West, images like this are everywhere. They're everywhere. And no one bats an eyelid. But did you know that it took a thousand years of history before humans felt comfortable drawing Jesus on the cross? A thousand years it took. And it was actually the advent of the Roman Catholic Church uh, that, as Tom Holland explains, or the advent of this crucifix, which was the uh, which came from the Roman Catholic Church, but it took a thousand years after Jesus' crucifixion until people felt comfortable depicting Jesus on the cross. And it was actually three to four hundred years after Jesus' crucifixion that people felt comfortable just drawing the cross. But we would have to wait yet for another six to seven hundred years before this image could appear. Why? <laughs> because believer or unbeliever, this image bothered everyone. It didn't, see, it didn't matter if you believed in Jesus or if you disbelieved. What mattered is, is the effect, the psychological effect that this image had in the first century. In our day, this is a symbol of help and uh, pity and helping the victim. In Jesus' day, in the Romans' day, this was a symbol of absolute power. That if you mess with the state, the state is coming for you. This symbol used to be a symbol of abject terror. Don't fuck with the state. Rome would set these up on the perimeters of areas that they were conquering to send a message. Don't, con don't mess with us. Or we will really mess you up. And you would die on this cross. It would take you about three days, probably, often to die. While you would struggle just to breathe. You'd have to lift yourself up for every breath. While birds pecked out your eyes and pecked out your genitals. And even off with all of that, even after all of that, that was not the worst part. The worst part was the shame of it. In our modern day, whether you're religious, Christian or not, we have all lost sight of what it means when it was said, cursed is someone who is hung on a tree. St. Paul said that. He said that Christ died in our place for us. Cursed is everyone who, took, who dies on a tree. So Christ suffered the curse for us and we all say that but we don't really understood what it meant in that time the, the time in which he said it the shock and horror of a god crucified and then resurrected i mean it was a common thing that gods would be resurrected but that a god would be crucified and then resurrected no you see crucifixion with all its horror was actually in their thinking intended to prevent resurrection. It was considered a refutation of everything you taught and, and everything you stood for. So basically, if you were crucified, you were wrong. But this image is so common now that everyone, believer and unbeliever, no longer is shocked by this image. When St. Paul said we preach Christ crucified, i.e. a God crucified, when he said that, the deep meaning of that is completely lost on us. It was a shock. He said it's a shock to everyone. Jew, Greek, Roman, Gentile, etc., etc. It was a shock to everyone. And it was literally a shock to everyone. It, regardless of whether you believed in it or not, the proposition was you, that, the, that, that a God was crucified and risen 
was universally shocking to everyone. Universally shocking to everyone. And in our day, 2,000 years after this image, after Christ crucified, and 1,000 years after this image was depicted, it is shocking to literally no one, believer and unbeliever. So the verse that says we preach Christ, Christ crucified, uh, madness to like ever, virtually everybody, it's the opposite now. It's madness to no one. And this is our historical amnesia, or our historical autism, that we cannot see the forest for the trees. We cannot see the significance of this cross. And so you, dear viewer, whether you are a believer or not, if you drive by a church like this and see this image everywhere you go, it doesn't matter whether you are a believer or unbeliever. If you are not shocked by this image of a God crucified and then resurrected, you are Christianized. Who gives a shit what you believe?